Hi everyone, I am Cornelius of Voice Studio East, and this is the seventh episode of my beginner singing course. Previously in this series, we've worked on legato, sustains, vowels, diphthongs, and tone. Today we are going to apply what we've learned in previous videos to singing the song Amazing Grace. As always, I will provide plenty of explanations and demos, so whether you've been watching the series from the beginning or just joined us for this episode, you should be able to follow along. When first learning to sing a song, it is helpful to break it down into short manageable sections to work through one at a time, then later tie them together and work on the song as a whole. Thus, today we will work on Amazing Grace one phrase at a time. The first phrase goes like this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. While it may seem simple enough, there are already quite a number of things to pay attention to in order to develop a consistent and musically pleasing tone. The first thing we will work on is to connect the notes, in other words, to sing with legato, as was the topic of episode 4. To make this as easy as possible, we will set aside the lyrics and just sing the phrase on A. Ah. For optimal results, make sure you use a bright A ah with a forward tongue position, A, ah, as opposed to the darker and throatier A ah with the tongue low and retracted, A. Ah. We will do this exercise twice, first together, then you alone. Here we go. Now let's add the words back in. To prevent them from interrupting the legato, we need to take a look at the diphthongs, making sure we are predominantly singing on the open parts and not the close parts. In other words, instead of this, amazing grace, we need this, amazing grace, delaying the E sound until the very end of the note. Let's try it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. One more time. Now let's move on to the second phrase, which goes like this. That saved a wretch like me. The main challenge here is that tricky E vowel on the high note. It can easily get too bright, meaning a too small mouth opening, or more specifically, not enough jaw separation. As explained in episode 5, which addresses the E vowel, one way to get more jaw separation is to make sure we're not spreading the mouth too wide, but instead keeping things fairly narrow. If this is not enough on its own, it can also help to subtly nudge the word me towards me, which should also help with getting more warmth and tonal consistency. Here we go. Saved a wretch like me. One more time, that's it. Now for the third phrase, which goes like this. I once was lost, but now I'm found. 
We have a mostly descending melody, which means energy levels are gradually going down during the phrase. But we also don't want the sound to become overly dead. Also, if the larynx has risen or the pharynx narrowed for the high notes, we need to find some way to open the sound back up on the way down. Fortunately, both of these concerns can be addressed together by relying on the R vowels in now and found. As with the first phrase, make sure you are singing on the open part of the diphthong, but also make sure your mouth is sufficiently open so that the larynx can come down, since the larynx tends to follow the movements of the jaw when singing. If you do it right, you should be able to get a feeling of falling or collapsing into the low notes, letting go of whatever tensions might have crept in for the high part. For extra credit, try also nudging the R in once towards an R so we can benefit from the brightness and openness. I once was lost, but now I'm found. One more time. I We now proceed to the fourth and final phrase, which goes like this. Was blind, but now I see. There's not much to note here, except that the success of the fourth phrase depends in no small part on how you handle the previous phrase. If you manage to get that sensation of falling, then you've successfully gotten the energy level back down, and it should be easy enough to just sing the last phrase. Aside from that, just focus on the legato and on keeping the sound warm and open. Here we go. Was blind, but now I see. One more time. Was blind. And now let us put it all together. We have just been engaging in what could be called microscopic praxis, taking the song apart into individual phrases and even zooming in on individual notes and their corresponding syllables. Now we zoom out to take the macroscopic view, where we try to give the verse a natural contour with the intensity rising towards the climax and then fading out like a warm sigh. This is also a good time to make sure you are singing with an animated facial expression full of bright mirth, all of which helps bring the music to life. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. One more time, amen. And that's about it for today's video. If you liked this episode, be sure to check back next week where we're going to tackle the second verse, but an octave higher and in falsetto. In the meantime, remember to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>